You ready? How do we look? Beautiful. How's he look? Manny looks good. How do I look though? That's the most important ah. part. Yeah, yeah. Come on, come on. What's up everybody? Welcome to the channel. I am here with Manny from Quasar E-Moto. Manny is a bike builder, a custom bike builder, and I wanted to have him on the channel today because he has a wealth of knowledge in this up and coming technology of the electric motorcycles. To the naked eye or the untrained eye, these probably look like conventional dirt bikes. They are not. Manny specializes in a bolt-on kit, and I'm gonna let him talk about it a little bit more. So Manny, thank you for being on the channel. Thanks yeah. for being here. For Tell me a little bit about the bike behind you here, what you've done to it, and what all you went into to make this bike what it is. Okay, so this is a 2022 KTM 250 XSF. Um, this has got a 12P uh, a Molly Cell pack, custom built. Um, so you've made so, the pack? Yeah, it's TIG welded aluminum. It's got emergency blowouts in the back of it. Um, we will be running the, uh, the new Zapper from Electron Co. in this right now. It, it has a noisy cricket, which is a phenomenal little controller. So it's uh, basically a full ENC powertrain minus my custom battery. So you're, the, bikes, <clears throat> the bikes here are going to have the Electron Co. motor, Electron Co. Uh, controller. And so, moving so, on from this, this yeah. bike, you're going to do an Electron Co. battery also? Uh, yeah, so um, in that bike over there, that's the uh, Honda CRF150RB. Okay. This is a full Electron Co. powertrain. Okay. Um, I do the kit, I do the mounts, I do, you know, this is a quick change battery system. You can swap that battery out in 15 seconds. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Um, but as part of the powertrain, it's the uh, QS138V3 from Electron Co. Yeah. They've got the Electron battery right here. It's a 32 amp hour battery with the Noisy Cricket uh, True Moto controller. Right. Which is, I mean, a fantastic controller. You got all the tunability through the app. You can change pretty much everything right, you want. Right, right. That's fantastic. Um, for the bigger bikes, I am moving towards bolt-on kits just like this. This is my personal bike. It's a custom, uh, custom built uh, kit that yep. you know I put together. But in the future, I want to do bolt-ons using the entire um, ENC powertrain. So you're gonna you're gonna expand outside of KTM, and you're gonna offer a bolt-on oh, solution for what type of chassis so you want to focus on? I have a 2023 Honda CRF 450R that I'm doing. I'm going to do a bolt-on kit with the ENC powertrain. For that bike, we're gonna go into pit bikes, you know. Um, yeah, oh, so we're gonna nice. cover lots of stuff. That's we're my jam do, right there, the pit bikes. Yeah, we're gonna do the CRF 110. We're gonna do the KLX 110. Um, those are gonna be very similar kits. Those will fit on um, the Chinese pit bikes too. So like Pitster Pro, Thumper, yeah. all that stuff. Um, it's gonna be somewhat of a universal kit again. Electro and Co. Powertrain. I mean, their stuff is fantastic. The tunes are great. Yeah. The new controllers are pretty much unmatched in my opinion. Yeah. I mean, I have a noisy cricket and a full-size bike, and this thing rips. Yeah. It's it's impressive. The mid range and the top range is uh, a lot better than those Voltals. So uh, it being the best controller, it's a it's a hell of a lot better, I'd say. Cool. How long how long have you been building bikes for, and what got you into it? Um. Four or five years now, uh, you know, we didn't really have much but the Alta. I got one of the first right, Altas. Right, right, right. And, you know, you I had an Alta? Yeah, yeah. yeah I had one of the very last Altas ever made in 2019. Um, and, yeah, it, it's a great bike, just heavy. Yeah. And right. I figured if I could take your favorite chassis yep. in a lighter bike and make it into something that you could ride and, and be comfortable on, you know, Altas, that, that chassis was originally designed to be a road bike. Oh. You know, so, I okay. mean, successful bike great bike but with something that you know you're comfortable on you put that kind of power down right. i mean you really can't beat that yeah so yeah yeah i just uh i had to do it and then you've been doing it ever since yeah pretty much right uh, primarily yeah. custom one-off builds um from up till now and that's my first uh, bolt-on kit that we're going to be doing so so do you have a website and I do, yeah. uh, and instagram and all the quasar things you e want motorsports.com quasar e motorsports and then so from here I'm gonna ride it. You cool if I ride it? Oh yeah, please. Because it have mode one. Yes, it does. Because I'm a mode one it does rider. Have a mode one. Hell yeah, brother. If That's... we can get a wheelie out of this guy, I'll be happy. A wheelie? My wheelies generally end up with me on my back, so it'll be. I a... got your back, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go, dude. Thanks yeah. again. You ready, Manny? Yeah. I'm gonna show you what a real rider rides like. All right. <laughs> like I said, I got your back, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I'm here with uh, Voltron Watts. He's on the uh, CRF 150RB. And he's gonna take it for a nice little test ride. Let's go. Yeah, let's get it. This 
Sasha got big balls. I'll say that. It's starting to rain a little bit. But Manny builds these bikes. He uses the Electro and Company powertrains, but he develops and designs all the bracketry that goes into making these bikes possible. Oh, I'll lose that front end, boy. I'm gonna say shit. Manny is a very capable rider. Not only is he a bike builder, but he's a very capable rider. So for someone to be able to design and develop the bracketry that goes into the variety of bikes that he is doing, it takes a ton of skill and knowledge and Manny's been doing this he said for about five years but he's a, a craftsman at heart and he's been a designer and a developer of many things over the past 15 years See if we can go up this hill. I just put my phone in my pocket. I just couldn't hang. Yeah, I know. Not one-handed. Yeah, go ahead. I'll work. I'll record you going up. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Here we go. The ground is so soft. Here we go. Golly! How the hell did you get here so fast? These are tired. Oh. <laughs> Saved it. That's a good one, huh? Yeah, dude. Oh, yeah, yeah. Gonna test it somehow, right? Yeah. Put it through the hill. Whoo! Oh, that was not an easy hill, man. No, that was a tough hill. Good work. That was a tough hill. I ain't hitting that. I'll die. Whoo! -wee. break my neck doing half this shit these electric dirt bikes if you guys are new to the electric dirt bike stuff i don't say i'm fairly new in electric dirt bike stuff this these things are incredible the power the delivery the weight ratio on these things you know it's incredible it really is if you're new to this stuff or you're not involved in it yet you should be i don't know how those guys do that enduro cross dude i know right? i'm tired just from not making up that hill like what we were doing was nothing <laughs> that was fun though yeah that was fantastic oh.